bad society. Yeah. And, yes. and different society, a French society, could have a different truth. So, so one can be easily confused by saying, you know what, truth is relative to what this community of people think, but it's not true to me. If you were raised so what is true to you? No, listen, if you were raised in Nazi Germany, you would believe the truth is that Jews are bad. It is very so, likely, and Jordan Peterson proved that in some sort of discussions, it's very likely that you will believe the truth. So your truth is literally based on where you live, where you're from, who raised you, etc. If truth is to be something that is marinated in your head and then pops up and all of a sudden it's true because you have this confirmation bias from your society, then there is no such a thing as truth. Okay, really. let me give you an example to illustrate what I'm saying. If a large community of people consider God exists, then it's true that God exists. Is that what you're saying? Within that society, yeah. Yeah. So if everyone decides now, we do not exist, it means we do not exist. That means That's the truth. Your truth. So the reality... I can disagree or I can so, so the reality, the reality, the reality can be based on people's thoughts about what they think the truth, or it could be independent of them. Is that right? Reality is... Does this cosmos you, exist? Reality is your experience okay. of what reality Does is. Does this cosmos the exist? The person with a schizophrenia will have a completely different okay. reality. They will have hallucinations. Let's go back to... I want to so illustrate with this example of the cosmos. Okay. Do we see the cosmos in existence? Uh, I guess I don't see yeah. much. The world around us, right? Yeah. yeah, existence. Now suppose... All of us agree that this is non-existent. Is that the reality? I guess so. But the reality is it exists. Reality is subjective. Independent of our subjective opinions about it. No, because we agree it exists. No, we agree it doesn't exist. No, we, what we agree, if we agree it doesn't exist, does it make it non-existent? What we're saying, what you're, you're confusing here. Let me clarify my question. If we all agree it doesn't exist, does it make it non-existent? What you're confused about is the fact that uh, we, we all agree it exists. No, but you misunderstand. Let me, finish. let me finish. But you misunderstand my question. Let me finish. My question is, if you all agree the reality, we do not exist, does it make it non-existent? It's my question. What the difference is, is what we agree, our difference is how we agree it came to be and how it exists. You don't understand my question and, and my position. Determines uh, Maybe I can ask you again. Reason or logic. You misunderstood my question. You didn't if we understand. all agree, that nothing exists, we don't exist. Well, you already asked me this question. I now, that. now, does it make it non-existent? Yeah, in your purpose. In reality. In reality. Does it make it non-existent in reality? The truth. You are the only... Imagine you are the only camera observing something happen. Then you, you are the only camera. If you switch off the camera, then nothing that the camera sees will exist. So if you die tomorrow... The illustration that I gave, if all of us agree that we are non-existent, the reality is what I'm asking you. Is their existence in reality, not what we thought and we agreed upon? I don't no think there is an objective reality. I didn't ask I mean, you that. There are human beings that by genetics I only asked you. to perceive reality in particular in a schematic way and then they view it. So if we all agree... That, for example, if you ask me do I believe there is a fifth or sixth or seventh dimension but we don't view it. Yeah, if you can prove there see, is, then there is. My, but I my, see my simple illustration was of the existence all around us, the fact that the fact that the fact that the fact that you and I am, are speaking to each other yeah. is because we consider each other as existent. Now suppose we all agreed for whatever reason that we do not exist. Does that make us non-existent in reality? Only if you agree, right? But you said truth is uh, in reality. Agreement. But there is no community that would think that for. What is the answer, sorry? 
There will be always you somebody that will say, that you don't I think reality exist, doesn't I guess exist. I mean, I have nothing exist. else to tell you. Listen, I ask mean. you a question. But you know very well in reality, we exist. doesn't matter whether this person or you or me decide that we don't. The reality is independent of our opinions. I may believe there's a tree there, or I may believe the tree is not there. The tree is independent of my belief. The tree exists independent of me. You base my idea that there's an absolute truth. I don't believe... I've just demonstrated there is. So you are saying, if we all agree that we are non-existent, in reality that makes us non-existent. And yet we are talking. Because no one agrees on what you said. Two non-existent beings are talking. But if we agree that we don't. But I didn't agree with you. He's wrong. What if people do? Because your definition of truth was agreement. If people agree. Suppose we agreed. We give you money and you agree. Did he agree I don't exist? Imagine, imagine I, we paid him. We paid him. I paid you for the sake of argument. And then you agreed. So yeah, we, we don't exist. Our agreement doesn't make it reality. In the, our reality is independent of what we think. If I think that tree is existent or not, the tree exists independent of my thinking. So I had this question prior, how do you explain higher dimensions? What dimensions? Just higher dimensions. No. There's three dimensional space, right? Yeah. Then there's time. We live in that sort of heart of what is possible, right? So how do we explain dimensions that you cannot perceive? We can only talk about dimensions that we know of. Ah, oh, so your purview is restricted, right? So you have to we have to, operate, we have to operate. We have to operate in this world with the rational faculty that we have, with the tools that we have, to discuss things rationally and logically. I cannot just simply say, "Oh, a triangular circle or a squared circle exists somewhere else," because in our reality, it doesn't exist. So I have to operate with this kind of rational understanding in this reality. Perfect circles don't exist. It's the opposite. Triangular square. Perfect circle. For example, I didn't say perfect. Exist, right? Uh, triangular perfect circle. Square or perfect tri triangle. That's trigonometry and the triangular, triangular circle. Triangular, triangular square. square. What you're talking about was invented by humans. No, That's I'm talking about there are things that we operate because of our rational faculties. No, because you called something to be this or that. The tree is a tree. Do you live your life according to certain principles, logic and rationality? Of course you do. Yeah. So that's what we operate our lives and our understanding of reality on. Our reality... Yeah, agreement on what reality is. So if I agree, God exists, God exists. Because, because of my agreement, right? To you, yeah. No, 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 to you as well. Because I agree God exists, it must you be... You agree. agree with me. I don't agree that God exists. Then that basically has nothing to do with truth. It is just simply my word play. Or I think I am the president. Okay, I am the president of, um, yeah, you know, Zamunda. God, Does it make me a president? Please because I think so. Brother, can we have so one how do you recall to relax, materialistic, man, factual, tree is a tree, to a god is a god, when you cannot perceive God, really? So, so what is I God? What is God? Something that was invented by people to cheer themselves up, to reinforce their own grandiosity. Okay. That's God. And what is the qualities of God people are giving? The magical father there in the sky. I don't call him the father. That I don't call him the father. Well, different religions call it the father, different religions. I don't, I don't. Well, you don't have to. I'm just saying. So, you your understanding of God comes from a belief system in which I they call him. I understand God, I'm not pretending I do, and I'm not interested in trying to understand God because I don't believe he exists. And what's your reason for that? My choice. Choice. There is no other reason okay. besides that. If I, I choose to believe that you don't exist, you don't exist. It's my choice, right? No, no. If I don't believe you exist because of my choice, you don't exist. Well, maybe he believes I exist. No, I don't. So you don't exist, right? I just want to understand the. You? No. I want to understand the rationality, the logic that you're using. So if I choose not to believe that you exist, it makes uh, you non-existent. But we are talking about God and you're talking about rationality, so I don't... I asked you the reason God. why you... the reasons of non-belief in, in, in God. You said choice. Yeah, I don't need God. Yeah, yeah. So I don't need to believe that you exist. So don't because you. I don't need to consider yourself you're important enough in this life. But you're comparing something that you can see right now in front of you to something that is imagined somewhere else. Imagined? Yeah, pretty much. What color is gravity? Whatever you imagine it to be. 
and whatever your community green, agrees. But you believe in it. If you imagine it and you believe in it. If your community agrees. You believe in gravity without seeing what colour it is. Without your senses telling you. Can it be proven though? Of can course not. Can gravity be proven? Have, you, have we found gravitons? The units of gravity? Well, then you would suggest that it's a particle. Have we demonstrated that through any evidence? Have we proven it in the lab? Of course we haven't. We're talking about gravity. You believe in gravity. The reason I am saying this is this. I'll tell you why. And I never said I believe in gravity. You just assume. So why, 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 why does that thing fall? You know, when you drop the ball, why does it fall on the ground? Because it has its own thoughts and feelings. Yeah, is that what you believe? Do you believe in that? No, I don't say it. Okay, why does it fall on the ground? Because, because it does. Because it does. Is this a good enough rational explanation? Well, I have to understand everything and I, do not, I have to prove that I understand everything. You see, in order to say, oh, I don't believe in God. I mean, you expect way too much of my rationale, why I don't even believe in God, whilst you give me no reason to believe in one. Now, I asked you the reason for your non-belief, then I can understand... I don't have to tell you. I just told you that it's my choice. If I said that this then how can someone even give you any reason to believe because it's your choice at the end of the day? If you are able to convince me that there is one... Well, how can we convince someone when, when your conviction doesn't come from any reasoned approach? It's only choice. There are reasons I have and that yeah, I am Give us that told. reason. This is what he's asking. Give us the how reason. Do you You're asking me to excuse myself why I don't believe in God that nobody proved God's existence. How can you be so entitled to expect me to prove you that God doesn't exist which you can't prove in the first place that Who said we can't prove God exists? To prove it. Hang on. Where did you get the idea from God cannot be proven? Sorry? Where did you get this understanding that God is beyond any proof or evidence? Can I see God now? Can I So let's understand. So God? you're no, so I don't have personal that's why I'm saying two things you've already said. So you mentioned about two things, the criteria they've mentioned already, can I see God, can I experience God? So you're putting God into your reasons that you have to see, you have to see him, you have to experience him. Make God material compared to material items being produced by Have you seen my brain? I can see very well. No, you haven't seen my brain because I haven't shown you any x-ray images or MRI images of my brain. So you haven't seen my brain, and you. We you, can agree it doesn't exist. Um, so, so you believe my, I don't have a brain, right? So you believe I don't have a brain because you haven't seen it. I don't see it performed. Sorry? I don't see it performed. Your criteria but was I you're in the around, so you the criteria in accepting to believe there is a God. You have to see Him. You believe I have a brain. I that this is a condition and all of a sudden you mentioned it did you not mention it we I can't see him because you're asking me to excuse myself why i don't believe in god that you, you gave a reason exist. you can't see him you can't see my brain so according to the extension of your logic perhaps my brain doesn't exist it has to because you're moving around and you're talking to right me, the world moves around right the world moves around you're moving around in this world can this world be a result of absolute nothingness in the distant past Yes. What is absolute nothingness? Well, it doesn't really exist. So can it make something if it doesn't well, exist? There, there will be photons moving. So, so can absolute nothingness which doesn't exist make something like you and me? Why does it have to be made? Can it originate things something? Happen. Things happen. Why? The problem about this is I think, talking about things that are... I think we are now getting somewhere. If absolute nothingness ex doesn't exist, can it originate something that does exist, like you and me? Can you repeat the question? Sorry, I'm not the title. If absolute nothingness doesn't exist, yeah. can it originate, while being non-existent, something like you and me? Or the universe, the cosmos? Do I know everything? Do I That's know not my question? Yeah, pretty much is. Absolute nothingness? 
Absolutely nothing else. To ask a very complex, simple question. Physical question. No, nope, it's a very simple question. Well, I'm not really a. You think it's, it's a simple. very simple question? Doesn't mean it is simple because you call it's it simple. It's simple because he already has an answer. God is the answer. Um, if your answer. Who's jumping the gun now? Sorry? I didn't say God. Absolute nothingness. You, you spent the whole absolute, interview jumping. Absolute the gun. nothingness is the absence Such of everything. Such a wonderful lady. Yeah? Such an act is disingenuous. Absolute nothingness is the absence of everything. Absence of energy, absence of matter, absence of quarks, absence uh, of quanta. So there is not really absolute That's nothing. that's what I mean by absolute nothingness. Can this absolute nothingness, which is non-existent, originate or bring about something which is existent, like you and me? But how do I know? Very well. You know it very well already. That's why you're not willing to say it. Because the consequences of telling that is quite shifting in your paradigm of thought. Yeah. Absolute nothingness, I can tell you that you can assert with 100% certainty, it cannot bring about anything. So, because it doesn't exist. But I already said that it doesn't exist. I said there are so can photons it, in the vacuum. So there I'm is not talking about vacuum. I'm not talking about vacuums. I'm talking about absolute nothingness, where there is no vacuum, where there is no photon, where there is no quantum fluctuations, where there is no virtual particles, simply devoid of everything. Why are we basing the whole conversation about the watchmaker fallacy? Why are we even doing this? You, no, I asked you, you tell me that because nothing cannot create something, which is not true, you have antimatter and matter, and you have neutrinos jumping between those let's, two. Let's talk about this antimatter. Is antimatter something or nothing? Is neutrino something or nothing? I don't know, you tell me. Something. That is your definition. Something. Reality, right? Something. We, we have, we need no, something. Reality. I have been consistent with you my want, definition. You want to know more than but you have not been consistent with your definition? Or have you been consistent with your definition? No, I've been consistent. When I say absolute nothing, it's the total devoid of antimatter, photons, neutrino, quarks, hadrons, leptons, gluons, everything. But you're asking me a question about I asked you that was supposedly 14 billion, 14 billion years before I was even alive. There was not nothingness, like, there was like, something always. Like you know the answer now, what happened? Before. Do you know why I know the answer? Because because you believe it. No. I don't. No. You believe you not know because the of answer. that. You believe, believe it because your community believes it. Not because, believes not because of that. Not because of you that. You believe it because your community If something it. exists now, That's why there true. cannot be absolute nothingness in the past. That's why I believe. Why? Because absolute nothingness cannot make something originate something. How do you know that? That's what we're arguing. If I have, to give you, let me illustrate what I mean by that. My friend who's not here. Why people used to believe that if it's raining from a cloud, that is absolute nothingness, really. There's a cloud, looks like nothing, it's not solid, it's a gas. How come it's raining? People had an you, idea about that. You understood what I mean by absolute nothingness, right? So there will be eventually time Firstly, where God and his existence Firstly, firstly you understand what I mean by absolute nothingness. Am I right? No, I don't really know, because you're asking me very complex questions about physics. So, physics, when I say nothing... Things happening so to okay. me I have a wallet. Only a theory. I have a wallet. I, never know I have a wallet theory. in my pocket. If I said I have no money, nothing, what do you understand by that? And that's what this lady is saying. That you have to get a job. No. How much money do I have? I don't know. Enough. I said nothing. No money. So how much money do I have? It depends how much material items you have that you could sell. No. And how much in my in my wallet through getting a job and in my wallet that's if I your said money, whatever money you can create over your lifetime. If I said in my wallet I have no money, how much money do I have in my wallet? Who calls it? I just answered that question. You asked you ask me is? the same, exact same question. What is the answer? What is the answer? The answer will be not different. I just answered this question. I said that you have as much money as you're capable of creating, as you're capable of earning, as you're capable of taking whatever you have on top of you and selling it. That's how much? How many? Oh, how many? I give you. Now you have money. This is money. Yeah. So how many cat is in your cup? Sorry? How many cat is in your cup? C A T cat. Dog cat. How many cat is in your cup? Real life cat. I'm asking you. Two right now. Okay. Nice talking to you. Take care.
Brothers and sisters, we have purchased a property to establish a masjid in the capital of Norway. By supporting our masjid, you will inshallah gain the reward for gifting Islam to our community. Imagine the children memorizing the Quran, the lines filling up for the prayers five times a day, the non-Muslims discovering the beauty of our deen. SubhanAllah, all of that reward can be yours for a small donation. Allah said, believe in Allah and His Messenger and donate from what He has entrusted you with. So those of you who believe and donate will have a mighty reward. And the Prophet wasallam said, whoever builds a masjid for Allah, Allah will build for him a similar house in Jannah. Click the link to help and gain the mighty reward promised by Allah. Also, please help us reach more people by sharing the video. May Allah grant you a palace in the highest level of Jannah. Amin.